couch Dogs need the lesson Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome fingerstyle lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'll show you how you can improvise a solo with a moving bass note. The moving bass note is A, G, F sharp, F, and E, okay? And you're gonna want to explore the chord option first and then move into a single note solo. So let's explore our options. We have A, in any rhythm we like and preferably it should be a slow rhythm because you want to change bass notes as you go along so and then you can add G to the bass or play G if you like I prefer a minor over G and then you have F sharp on the bass you can do it with your thumb and that creates F sharp half diminished or F sharp minor 7 flat 5 and then you have F or F7 and then E or E7 okay so just explore that at first just to get your ears used to it added a little bit of a lick there at the end I did I did F7 to E7 and then I did okay, 0 3 3 on the second string and then the open E string leading me back to A minor now you can do that in double time as well you don't have to play a full bar for each So that, that's the chord progression, that's the sound you're looking for. Now, for the bass notes, you have A, you can do A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, F, E. Okay, now, um, this might be a little too fast for uh, first experimentations, so, you know, just do a full bar for each. this can kind of complicate the solo as you're gonna see. So uh, for the solo let's start with pentatonic options. Okay, 530 on the E string, 3-1 on the second string, and 2 on the third string. Of course you also have 1 on the second string and you also have the open second string so it's 5-3-1-0, 3-1-0, 2-1-0, or if you're playing E, then you have one on the third string. Just remember that. If you're playing all the rest of the, the bass notes, you have the open third string at your disposal. If you have E, you can play one, okay, to emphasize the E major sound. So you can do the open second uh, the open uh, third string, sorry, but that would create an E minor sound, and we're looking for an E major sound, okay? So that's for starters. So what I suggest is play a simple line at first and just practice playing a line with changing the bass notes. Okay, just zero and three on the E string while changing the bass notes. Okay, just zeros and threes Try to improvise with it, and once you feel comfortable, okay? once you feel comfortable with uh, soloing and changing the bass notes, try to incorporate the second string as well. Okay? I added the third string by mistake, but okay, that's where the line wanted to go. But um, that's your second step.
can do the, the solo along with the bass notes. Um, now, when you want to uh, go to the next step, try to add the five. Right? And then you have the thumb at your disposal or this finger. Okay, now practice the stretches. Okay, see, you can do the G, F sharp, and F if you stretch. Um, so you can do five and three. Okay, and then uh, if you like, you can do five, three for E. Okay, and then you have the open E string for the A again, and then you create a kind of a counterpoint line. Um, now there's a cheat here that you can do. It's not a real cheat, but uh, it's not it's not a low bass note. It's a high bass note. Um, if you want the high notes, right? Okay, um, eight, seven, and five, right? Or even ten and twelve, then you can use the high F note on eight on five. Okay, this is also F, so and then you can just do the open E. Um, of course, the farther you can stretch, the better. Okay, you know you can do seven with the G bass, even eight. Not just on uh, smaller guitars. Okay, you can do it for a moment. You can do. Okay, you can do seven, eight, seven, slide, and then play the bass. Um, I'll try to show you some options. Just keep in mind that. You know, you don't want to overcomplicate it. It should be a slow solo, just as long as you keep the bass notes moving, everything should work out fine. You just need to get your head into it. G. Okay? See, you don't even have to leave the basic position. And I don't know if you've noticed, but in E, I added the one on the third string. That's what gave the whole phrase its uh, unique sound because I didn't use the open third string. Just keep that in mind. Okay, wrong finger. Okay, if you want to slide to the to the high fifth uh, fret, just make sure you're using your pinky. Yeah, I'm just thinking of options to give you uh, more examples. Yeah, you can do okay, 8 with A. Just make sure you end on your pinky again. Okay, you can do the F sharp here, although it's not a bass note. Okay, you can do the lines and then the bass notes, you can kind of create a syncopation there. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if there are more options. Okay. Um, without overcomplicating it. Of course, you can always use the chords. F sharp, by the way, um, you don't have to do the A minor over F sharp, you can do D over F sharp, okay? Oh, not D, a full D, just this inversion, uh, 3, 2 on strings 2 and 3, open strings 4 and 5, and 2 on the bass. This is an inversion of a D chord, okay? D over F sharp, and then you can add that into your soloing as well. matter whether the bass notes are late, it's your improvisation, it's your composition. Uh, so just let it flow and uh, you know, you can do the high A minor with 5-5-5 five, five, five on strings 1, 2, and 3, and then just uh, add the bass notes if you can. Um, if you can bar your pinky. So, you know, 
again, the options are, um, they're not endless, but they're relatively endless. It all depends on your rhythm. You can change the rhythm completely um, and it'll result in a different composition. So I'm done giving you ideas. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Why not? Everything is for free. I upload regularly and you're going to have fun. Um, there's a ton of lessons already here, everything for free, of course, but if you want to give something back anyway, there's a Patreon page, the link is in the description. I thank you in advance for any pledge. I thank you for your generosity and everything goes right back into your guitar education, into making these lessons. So thanks for watching. Go improvise. Have fun. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.